Hi, so if you recall, uh, a couple weeks ago I uploaded a video where I had uh, I'd written a program uh, to control thrusters for a spacecraft, and I also had a missile on there that I said that I wanted to turn into a, a missile that would lead its targets. Um, however, if you recall in that video, whenever it would uh, steer to uh, orient towards a target, it would do it very slowly. And my reasoning for doing that is because I, I didn't want it to overshoot the target. Uh, so it would turn the thrusters off as soon as its angular velocity was uh, at, had reached a certain threshold. That way, whenever it uh, had to cancel out its ve velocity uh, while it was aiming at the target, it wouldn't overshoot it and it would just stay pointed straight at the target. But what that resulted in was it takes a long time for it to orient towards the target. So prior to implementing any kind of leading, I needed to uh, implement what is called PID control. So that's uh, proportional integral derivative. So just as an example here, um, I've got a missile without PID control, this one on the left, and one with PID control, this one on the right. And so uh, they target these these uh, explosive barrels. If I just turn this one on, you'll see the way what happens without PID control is it just overshoots its target. The thrusters are firing continuously, and if it were trying to lead its target, it, this would be no good. It, it wouldn't do anything. Um, now, actually, I'll just leave this one right here just so you can watch it struggle. And it, it struggles even more the more rapidly it has to move. So it's kind of a joke. It does not make for an effective missile. Whereas this one does have PID tuning. And you can see it tracks the target perfectly. So I've got that taken care of for tracking. And what's cool is this PID tuning implement, implemented in this program can be used for uh, things like turrets as well. So you can make very accurate turrets. Uh, basically what it does is the P portion, proportional, uh, the further away from the target it's pointing, the more force it applies to the thrusters. Um, the integral would be the longer it's pointed away from the target, the uh, more force it applies to the thrusters. And then derivative is the faster the error is being corrected, like the faster it is steering onto target, it starts taking uh, force away from the, the thrusters. That way, by the time it gets close to the to aiming on target, the it's not applying this overwhelming force that's gonna make it overshoot. But now I can demonstrate. As I said in my previous video, the way this one works is um, it looks at the closing velocity uh, between the missile uh, itself and the target and then so uh, it can estimate an arrival time and then it looks at the vector of uh, movement for the target and it calculates where it's going to be for the arrival time so it'll lead its target and it puts a laser in space where it's going to be so you can actually see um, see where it's aiming to meet its targets. The um, intercept point actually close. It'll start out far away from the target, but as it's approaching and it's accelerating towards the target, it'll close in on the target. So it doesn't just hang out in one, at one point in space. And if I go ahead and slow down how fast the missile is allowed to approach its target, you can get a much better idea of how well it leads. So here the approach speed is limited. And you can see that red line is right on the money for hitting its target. Let's go ahead and give you another demonstration.